One of the other accessibility tools that I've recently come across is called Funkify. Funkify is another extension that you add onto your browser to let you experience visiting pages in a whole different light. So here I am back at wikipedia.org. Um, earlier in another class I showed that putting it through the wave validator shows that Wikipedia has really done a pretty good job of making sure their site's accessible. So let's try the Funkify tool. How Funkify works is it lets you take on different personas to try to see what the site would look like for different people. So for instance, if I were to turn on Blurry Bianca, you basically get to experience this page as if you had blurry vision. You can even change the intensity of like the blurriness, if that's a word, to have it go from pretty low to pretty high. There's dyslexia, which I think is personally quite interesting because I know so many kids who struggle with, um, and adults, who struggle with the idea that on a web page, oftentimes things are moving around much more quickly, the videos um, and the pictures, but not just that, the text has a way for moving around with them. Um, you can't solve that problem, but what you can do is make sure that you're using large enough font so that if things do move around, it's not too disorienting. You can always also make sure that your spelling um, and grammar is correct. That will help as well. All right. Um, the next one is Trembling Trevor. And this one's quite common for people who maybe have a little bit of trouble um, with a mouse or with a keyboard or different things that need a lot of dexterity. So I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to click over here, if I can. And you can see with Trembling Trevor, as I'm trying to move the mouse around, it doesn't move very easily for me. It kind of jumps and goes. I fall victim to this a lot of times myself when people have very tiny buttons to push. So I'm going to turn off Trembling Trevor here. Um, and you can add, kind of increase or decrease the amount of trembling. Um, Tunnel Toby. This is the idea that some people actually, uh, their partial vision loss would look something like this. So this is a pretty high amount of vision loss. You can change it and kind of get this idea of what people are seeing. They might only be seeing a very small amount of your screen. Um, peripheral vision is this idea that sometimes people have this one spot that's kind of blocked. So again, you can't fix this issue for people, but you can think about your page and you can say, hey, is there something on my page that's really important, like just so important, and it only appears in one spot? Do I want to put it in more? Color Carl is pretty common. Um, this is just the idea that how does your page look if we were to get rid of all the colors? Are you using color? Let's go ahead and do this one. So this is grayscale. I'm going to kind of click in here. Um, you can also look at um, green, kind of take away a lot of the green. You've got the red and green, the blue and yellow. And they include some statistics that basically 1 in 1,000 people have trouble with this color combination. Or 1 in 100 men or 1 in 300 women have problem with the red-green. So testing your site to make sure that color isn't conveying something important. Then they also included some um, where it's a combination of lowered vision and trembling hands. Um, the last one I kind of like right here is the Sunshine Sioux. This is accessibility kind of even more for the accessibility for everyone. Because so many people take their devices outside, you can say, oh, hey, if it's really bright outside, are people going to be able to see what's on my screen? Or should I be changing some of my color combinations and contrast? So Funkify is, I mean, I hate to say it's a fun little tool because there's nothing funny about people not being able to access your page. But they did do a good job of trying to explain how these uh, different types of abilities can come in and affect the way that people interact with your page. So if you're interested in accessibility and you want to go a step further to make sure your page is something that everyone can enjoy, I highly recommend you installing Funkify.